on Cairo 7, a woman says she is lucky to be alive after a semi smashed into her car, sending it spinning into an I-5 guardrail. The driver of that semi took off and has not been seen since. Cairo 7 South Sound reporter Shelby Miller is live in Federal Way where that collision happened. Shelby. Steve, Stephanie Kilpatrick tells me she was driving here on I-5 South. She was in the center lane when suddenly something hit her. She says she spun four times. She hit the guardrail. And when she stopped, she realized the driver who hit her just took off. So I just closed my eyes. Gripped the steering wheel and held on for dear life. Stephanie Kilpatrick still gets choked up thinking about the moments her life flashed before her eyes. It was very terrifying. She was heading home from work around 8 p.m. Friday, driving south on I 5 near Wild Waves in Federal Way, when a semi slammed into the side of her car. Uh, he hit over here on the left rear and the tire, which automatically set me into a spin this way. By the third spin, I knew I needed to hit something, otherwise, my car was going to roll, and then I finally hit the guardrail head on. The airbags exploded, giving Stephanie a black eye and bruising her arms and abdomen. So I was just in shock, and my face felt like it was on fire from the airbag. What shocked her even more is the fact the driver never stopped. How could you, you know, not make sure I was okay? I'm a mom. I have kids to come home to. They need me. What if I was dead? Stephanie didn't know what hit her. Witnesses described the vehicle as a green Freightliner without a trailer. The crash ripped off the front bumper and totaled her brand new Acura ILX, which she saved up for for two years. I just can't believe whoever hit me took off like that. No regard for my life to make sure I was okay.